afternoon. My name is Yolanda West, and I'm the branch president of Georgia Laster Association of Musicians, Inc. We are a California 501c3 nonprofit foundation and an affiliate branch of the National Association of Negro Musicians, Inc. We welcome you to today's program. This is our very first virtual Black History program, and it's entitled Music and Poetry, an Empowering Partnership. You know, music and poetry have been intertwined for thousands of years, and we hope that today's program will show you just how important the two are and how they work together. Before I introduce you to our hosts for the afternoon, I would just like to say that although our program today is free, we hope that you will consider don't making a donation towards our music scholarship program for high school students. This can be done by going to our website, that's www.georgialasterbranchnam.org. Credit cards, debit cards, and PayPal are accepted. And now, regarding our host for the afternoon, Dr. Hansonia Caldwell Hereford is Professor Emeritus of Music at California State University, Dominguez Hills. She is the founding director of the program for the study of African diaspora, sacred music and musicians, which is an organization whose primary mission is the study of the life and work of African diaspora musicians in the field of sacred music and the preservation and performance of their music. She is also the co-director and associate producer of the Jester Harrison Project, and more recently um, launched the African Diaspora Exhibit, which is housed in the uh, Library Cultural Arts Center, which is located on the campus of California State University, Dominguez Hills. And now I give you and introduce to you Dr. Hansonia Caldwell Hereford, who will provide a preview of today's program. Enjoy. Thank you, Yolanda. And yes, we welcome you to today's celebration of heritage presented through great poetry and music. This program opens with the words of our country's first African-American published poet, Phyllis Wheatley. We then continue with the folk poetic and melodic voices of the 18th and 19th century spiritual, arranged by several extraordinary black composers. We are particularly appreciative of our first group of singers, three of whom have significant connections to the Metropolitan Opera. First, Marian Anderson, NANM's first scholarship recipient and the first African-American lead singer at the Met. She closed her famous 1939 Lincoln Memorial Concert with the Florence Price arrangement that will be performed here today, My Soul's Been Anchored in the Lord. Secondly, Leontine Price, the internationally acclaimed diva who built a legendary career at the Met throughout the 20th century. She will be singing Paul Johnson's arrangement of City Called Heaven. And thirdly, Robert McFerrin, whose centennial birth we celebrate this year. 100 years ago, Mr. McFerrin was born. 68 years ago, he became the first African-American to win the Metropolitan Opera auditions. And 75 years ago, he became the first African-American male to sing in a title role at the Met. Today, we feature his performance of Hall Johnson's His Name So Sweet and Oh Glory. We then turn to Harlem's poet, to America's poet, to the prodigious Langston Hughes. There will be readings 
followed by the art song settings of A Song to the Dark Virgin and Minstrel Man. The section closes with Perry Hayes reciting and then singing our centennial celebration of Langston Hughes's very first poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. For this second section, we thank the wonderful composers Florence Price, Maria Corley, and Margaret Bonds, our poetic readers Charles Dickerson, and Marie Hudley Simmons, and Perry Hayes, and our wonderful singers Louise Toppin, Daryl Taylor, and Perry Hayes. Whether we like country or blues, rap or rock, spirituals, gospel or art songs, music and the poetry it sets helps us share ourselves, our dignity and our sorrows, our hopes and our joys. It allows us to hear one another and to invite each other in. So we close with the contemporary voice of rap artist Fippa. And after too many years of darkness, a celebration of a new day, a wonderful new song with lyrics and music composed by the Inner City Youth Orchestra founding director, Charles Dickerson, a song written in tribute to President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. We now begin. Gertrude Bradley brings us Phyllis Wheatley. Overwhelming sorrow now demands my song. From death, the overwhelming sorrow sprung. What flowing tears, what hearts with grief oppressed, what sighs on sighs heave the fond parent's breast. The brother weeps, the hapless sisters jine, the increasing woe and swell the crystal brine. The poor who once this generous bounty fed droop and bewail their benefactor dead. In death the friend, the kind companion lies, and in one death what various comfort dies. The unhappy mother sees the sanguine rill, forget to flow and nature's wheels stand still. But see from earth his spirit far removed, and know no grief recalls your best beloved. He upon pinion swifter than the wind has left mortality's sad scenes behind for joys to this terrestrial state unknown and glories richer than the monarch's crown of virtue's steady course, the prize behold. What blissful wonders to his mind unfold but of celestial joys I sing in vain. Attempt not, muse, the too adventurous strain. No more in briny showers ye friends around, or bathe his clay, or waste them on the ground. Still you weep, still wish for his return? How cruel thus to wish, and thus to mourn, no more for him the streams of sorrow pour, but haste to join him on that heavenly shore, on harps of gold to tune immortal lays, and to your God immortal anthems raise.
just come from the fountain, I'm just from the fountain, Lord, I just come from the fountain, his name so sweet, were Lord, I just come from the fountain, I'm just from the fountain, Lord, I just come from the fountain, his name so sweet, for sinner, do you love Jesus? Yes, yes, I do love my Jesus. Say, no, do you love Jesus? His name so sweet. Well, Lord, I just come from the fountain. I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain. His name so sweet. Class leader, do you love Jesus? Yes, yes, I do love my Jesus. Leader, do you love Jesus? His name so sweet. Well, Lord, I just come from the fountain. I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain. His name so sweet. San Elder, do you love Jesus? Yes, yes, I do love my Jesus. Elder, do you love Jesus? His name so sweet. Just come from the fountain. I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain. His name so sweet. Oh, Lord, I just come from the fountain. I'm just from the fountain. Lord, I just come from the fountain, his name so
dear friends, at this time when we are celebrating the new poetess amongst us, Amanda Gorman, we also reflect on those poets of years past who have made such significant contributions to our journey. One of the most significant poets of our time was Langston Hughes, who lived from 1902 to 1967. One of Langston's best-known poems is Hold Fast to Dreams. It's a short poem, only eight lines long. Here it is. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field, frozen with snow. As has been the case with many of uh, the great works of our people, they've been set to music. And Florence Price, one of our best-known composers, put Langston Hughes' Hold Fast to Dreams to music. We will now be joined by Professor Louise Toppin of the University of Michigan, longtime member and supporter of NAM, who will sing for us Florence Price's arrangement of Langston Hughes' poem, Hold Fast to Dreams. that I were a jewel, a shattered jewel, that all my shining brilliance might fall at thy feet, thou dark one. Would that I were a garment, a shimmering silken garment, that all my folds might wrap about thy body, absorb thy body, hold and hide thy body, thou dark one. Would that I were a flame, but one sharp leaping flame to annihilate thy body, thou dark one. And now please enjoy the artistry of Dr. Daryl Taylor performing the musical setting of this poem from his recording, Dreamer, a portrait of Langston Hughes. Thank you.
that all my faults might wrap about thy body, absorb thy body. Minstrel Man by Langston Hughes Because my mouth is wide with laughter and my throat is deep with song, you do not think I suffer after I've held my pain so long. Because my mouth is wide with laughter, you do not hear my inner cry. Because my feet are gay with dancing, you do not know I die. And now, here, soprano Yolanda Rhodes perform composer Margaret Bond's musical setting of Langston Hughes' poem, Minstrel Man.
I've known rivers. I've known rivers, ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans. And I've seen its muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient dusty rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. Like the rivers. I've seen 
bosom turn all golden in the sunset. Team, ha! We, we are, are ready, ready. Royalocity flow, ha! We, we are, are ready. Tell them. We ready, we ready, we ready. We up all night. We ready, we ready, we ready. Children are meant to be Cause when it come down to this fate I promise this music is meant for me It's destiny See mentally Ah I'll be what it was sent to me Like a Christmas gift I would sound like Christians You just to give it to everything So I'm doing that Doing all work all day Never losing that Overcoming roadblocks Yeah I'm moving that Persevering hard times Like getting back Overlooking hard times Like getting back I'm giving back Yup Right through my music Uplifting people And this is how we do it Oh they do it And this is that king music We raising the bar higher than any Times two when we ready, we ready. Uh. Oh yeah, we ready, man. This is a bumpy road, but this faith that got me steady, man. What? Steady, man. How? Cause it's God over everything. Rocking with him first, second, third, winning every ring and every round. Ow. It's about to go down. Fifa and Boss Ambrose, we about to take the crown. Cause we ready, we ready, we ready. We so ready, we ready, we ready, we ready, we up. Oh, oh. Ready, 
but you can hold this confetti because celebrating is on pause until we get it. Until we get it, the focus is unstoppable. We got blinders in this race, so that ball is so undroppable. Undroppable. Ha! We prime time, and so climbing up is imperative. We get down, so believe and be our medicine. We keep the faith, cause in the world you know his medicine. Faith the size of a mustard seed could move anything. So we doing that. You see that mountain in the way? Yeah, we moving that. Be strong, I hope. Yeah, we proving that. That's why we, that's why we up all night. Cause we doing that. Whistle win, yeah, we proving that. Going hard in the paint, overdoing that. Overdoing that. Yup, because we up all night. We that team on the map, and we working hard. Anything less is decreasing our chance of going far. And when you rocking with the team, that ain't happening. No, we came together to put Lincoln on the map again. Ha! We ready, we ready, we ready. We so ready, we ready, we ready, we ready, we up all night. We ready, we ready, we ready. We so ready, we ready, we ready, we ready, we up all night. We ready, we ready, we ready. We ready. Cause we ready, we ready, we ready, we ready, we ready, we ready, so we be up all night. We be up all night. Hello, fellow NAM members. This is Charles Dickerson. Most of you know me as Chuck. It's my joy to join you on this uh, wonderful occasion for our Black History Month celebration. And uh, I'm honored and privileged to be able to share just a little bit of music with you today. Uh, I am one who has been really heavily involved in a lot of composition, uh, particularly during this COVID time when, we, when we've been unable to gather together to have rehearsals and performances, particularly of my orchestra, the Inner City Youth Orchestra of Los Angeles. And among the things that I have uh, composed during this time off uh, uh, is a new piece for Joe Biden and for Kamala Harris. Um, I have been inspired by the fact that finally uh, we're going to have a new day in America, that we're having a new day in America. And this little song is called A New Day in America. Uh, my dear friend Tim Williams helped me arrange it. Uh, and Shante Nichols is the soloist. And I hope you enjoy it a lot. This is A New Day in America. Thanks. I see the darkness disappear I see the twinkle in the newborn baby's eyes I see the joyful mother's tears I see brothers come together Joining hands with white, black and brown of each other We call each other by our names We have respect for one another No more threats No more tweets No more childish silly games Thank God it's a new day in America We can all Begin again with a new path set before us. We'll celebrate the good in every child, woman, and man. 
coalitions and to those who seek to do us harm. We'll invite them to the table. Wow, what skill and artistry we just witnessed. It was like a bouquet of flowers, each one colorful and each one different and unique in their own way. I'm Gertrude Bradley, and I'm the Vice President of the Georgia Laster Association of Musicians. Thanks to all of our participants for sharing their wonderful gifts and talents with us today. And thank you to all of you for listening in and joining us. GLAM is invested in the work to promote the presence of excellent music performance, artistic works, and profound historical works found in our history, in our culture, and in our heritage. It's relevant and we want to keep it relevant. The mission of the National Association of Negro Musicians Incorporated is to support young musicians to encourage them and strengthen their musical journeys. This is something the organization has done for over 100 years. And it's always exciting when we witness our benefactors bloom into prolific professionals. We rely tremendously on your support to do that, to accomplish the work that we do. As mentioned earlier by our, pres our president, Yolanda West, we are a nonprofit organization. So your generosity funds the programs and the opportunities that we present to our youth. On the screen is an address where you can send your monetary donations or your gifts. We accept checks, cashier's checks and money orders. That's all fine. Or you can go online and you can visit our website and you can make a secure donation there as well. We want to also invite you to become a member of the National Association of Negro Musicians Incorporated. We are located in the Los Angeles area, so if you happen to be in that area, you are welcome to, to join our branch specifically, <laughs> the GLAM branch. It's been a pleasure to be a part of this program today, and we just want to encourage you to be well, stay well, and keep that mask on in public, okay? Bye-bye. God's children get together. All the time, all the time, all the time. We're gonna sit down by the bank of the river. All the time, all the time, all the time. When all of God's children get together. Oh!